This is the 2019 G3 Angler V 18 SF, and it is well suited for fishing and skiing, especially with a 175 V Max on the back. The G3s have always had a really nice ride, but if they've been lacking anything, it's some of the accoutrements. For 2019, they've really stepped up their game, especially when it comes to interior treatments and the upholstery. The fishing seats have a fresh new look with classy three-tone vinyl and five pedestal mounts that allow multiple seating arrangements. The forward casting platform, where most of the action will be, is packed with handy storage compartments. The three that are lockable have raised lips under fitted hatches to help keep your gear dry. The fourth includes tackle trays with slots to hold them in place. There's a 15 gallon aerated live well up front next to a massive center rod locker with tubes that can hold eight foot rods. The Minn Kota 24 volt trolling motor you see here is optional, as is the secondary fish finder. Another big upgrade for this boat is the interior flooring. There's a brand new soft touch vinyl, which is really comfortable and shouldn't get hot in the sun. And unlike carpet, this new vinyl flooring doesn't hold any water, so it's really easy to wipe down. We find even more storage in the cockpit with lockable compartments in each gunnel and under each console. I really like how these compartments are finished with carpet inside. Not only does this help protect your gear, but there are no sharp edges to worry about when reaching inside. Not only have they upgraded the interior in this boat, but the gauges, the consoles, and even the windshields have improvements. Unlike the C models, SF models have dual consoles and a full wraparound windshield, which for me is a must if you plan to fish the chillier shoulder seasons. A darker tint for 2019 also helps reduce glare and strain on the old eyeballs. The helm feels sporty with high quality Faria gauges and new waterproof rocker switches. And I love the thick steering wheel and armrest next to the throttle, both of which provide just a little extra comfort. The passenger console has a lockable glove box and a cell phone holder with a bungee. Why there isn't a similar cell phone holder at the helm remains a bit of a mystery. Aft bench seats are cushioned for comfort and do fold to convert to a casting platform, but the optional flip deck from the 18C model is not available on the SF. However, two raised pedestal mounts do allow you to pop in a fishing chair instead. There's a second aerated live well to center and more lockable storage under the gunnels. Console Angler Vs are built with .080 aluminum hulls, which helps keep the package weight under 3,000 pounds on the trailer. On the water, this translates into quick reflexes and strong acceleration. The 13 degree dead rise provides excellent ride comfort even with the lighter hull. You can power this 18 G3 with as low as 115 horsepower, but today you'll notice we have a 175 VMAX in the back. So if you want to run over 50 miles an hour, that's the engine to get. With two guys, some camera gear and half a tank of fuel, time to plane was under three seconds and we managed 51 miles per hour on top with the 175 just growling away. One of the things I love about the VMAX SHOs are how aggressive they sound. You get a nice snarl, especially when you hit the throttle. The SF in this Angler V stands for Ski and Fish. And these boats are really suited for multi-purpose activities. So whether you're going to go fishing all day or have the kids out tubing and water skiing, it's not a problem with this boat, especially if you power it with a 150 or higher. 